TNC have travelled to Sheffield to the home and headquarters of Ward Eye Tech and I'm with Richard Pearson. Now Richard, today we're going to be reviewing the Dali DMX320 5th axis machine. Now my first question, and I'm really sorry to put you up straight in on the spot, um, you know, why would people look to buy a 5th axis machine from Ward Eye Tech, a Dali in particular? Well generally speaking, all the customers who've bought this machine are existing Dali three-axis machine centre users and they've grown up with Dali machines they know the integrity of the machines the rigidity the performance reliability so when they've come to look for this style of machine we're a natural shop window for them. So how long have you been doing fifth-axis machines while well, Dali been doing fifth-axis machines? For around 10 years now that was our first machine into the market. So is it been kind of a natural progression? I would say so, yes, because even this model, which has only been out in a short time, the majority of customers have bought one, and then within six months have gone on to buy a second machine. And that really proves the pudding, really, doesn't it? That's right. And it's a very nice specification machine. A lot of the benefits, traditional benefits, 15,000 RPM, 25 horsepower. Um, we've got the FANAC feature of tilting working plane, so pe features which people would normally think of hiding territory only are now available as standard on this entry-level FANUC OIMF control. That's quite a fast uh, spindle speed. Can you give me a bit more information about the spindle, please? Yes. This spindle is something that we've evolved with DALI. 15,000 RPM, 25 horsepower, but we fit a special FANUC driver which gives us full power from 1,500 RPM, whereas a traditional 15,000 RPM spindle might have full power from 3,750. So it means the customer wants to do aluminium one minute, stainless steel the next. You can do it all from the one spindle without being embarrassed stalling the spindle at the lower RPM. I know the Dali machines have evolved over the years and all of the, the free axis machines come with BBT40 holders. Is that the same for the fifth axis machines? It is, yes. Yeah. And it's a very good benefit. It's a standard feature and not an option. So every machine that anybody buys from Ward Hightech, whether it's in stock or special order, the BBT40 spindle is standard. And does it come with through coolant? Yep, through coolant is one of our, if you like, part of our Ward Hightech package, and that can be either 20 bar or 50 bar, and we have other options as well. And what's the tool capacity? The tool capacity on these are generally 30, 40, or an option of 60. And Swarf management system, does that come as standard? Yes, it does. We've got uh, augers, high power pressure bed wash, and a choice of either auger screw or full belt type conveyor. Now, the machines are, are well renowned for the, their longevity and their build quality. Now, tell me a little bit about the movement of the machine on the linear guides, and, and can you tell me a bit about the configuration of the fifth axis as well, please? Yeah. This particular machine is linear guide on X, Y, and Z. It's 40 metres a minute in X and Y and 30 metres a minute in Z. Um, the table is up to uh, 18 metres a minute and it's a very rigid and very reliable uh, accuracy table. I mean, it would accommodate for most size components, really, you know, the average, you know, the average amount. That's right. I mean, this table is a 320 diameter table. It will swing 350 and we can take some large component weights on. Uh, one of our particular customers wanted to do a part which was 500 long, which tested the capacity of the machine, but we managed to do it, cut apart, and the machine's now sitting nicely in his factory. And what about the accuracy and repeatability? The accuracy of the, these machines is fantastic. Uh, I know everybody says that about their <laughs> machines, but Dali checked their machines to the VDI accuracy system which is a lot, lot better system than the JIS, Japanese Institute, or KIS, Korean Institute. And on circularity, which is quite a, a good leveler of machines, we're getting a circularity of around about eight microns when we do a Renishaw ball bar test. That is accurate. Now, in regards to when you're doing fifth axis work, visibility is, is quite important. You've got great accessibility and visibility from the front but also the side? Yeah, it's really good to work on. Even if we're working on the back side of the, of the fifth axis, then we've got the side windows and we've got instant viewing of what's going on when we're proving out. So operators really like 
to work the machine at any time we can interrupt the program open the doors to check anything you know we haven't got to go blind or say three Hail Marys you know we can prove out programs safely and accurately. And talking about programs you know what's new about the control system the FANUC control? Right well this particular FANUC control like all FANUCs but people who buy them know that there's a massive amount of options what we've done at Dali and Ward High Tech, we've tried to customise our control to have the highest end version of this particular control. So, for instance, competitive machines might have a look ahead starting off of 20 blocks, but we fit 400 block look ahead, which is the maximum for this control, as our standard Ward High Tech Dali offer. Now, Richard, thank you very much for the in depth. Re review. Now, if you have any interest in a fifth axis machine tool, contact Ward iTech.